just out here watching boxes. And uh, before I make any kind of statement or anything, I'd like to uh, get in the sun can, getting some vitamin D. So you're getting vitamin D or you're watching the drop boxes? Both, yeah. Uh, has anyone responded to you driving through? Has anyone said anything? Um, before I say any more, I need to call somebody. Okay. So. Um, who, who are you going to call? Give me just a minute. Okay. What organization are you with? Uh, it's Clean Elections USA. Clean Elections USA. Okay. Uh, so have you been talking to anyone down there? No. Okay. I'm not allowed to talk to anybody. Uh, actually, actually, I'd like to talk to them before I talk to you. Or okay. You. So uh, that mega terrorist is sitting outside of an election polling uh, drop off location, a polling box location out in Arizona, filming, watching, potentially talking to people that might show up and drop off their uh, votes. But he didn't have many, many very good answers. He did mention that he's there with Clean Elections USA, but I can't, I, I can't talk, I can't talk, or else they're gonna kill me. Maybe, I don't know, they seem pretty afraid of the people that they're working with. As a matter of fact, speaking of they, there's another person that's also helping him out too. His partner is also filming and there's a few questions that this reporter asked her. Let's see if she has more answers. Are you with Clean Elections USA too or are you with someone else? I'm not supposed to be having a discussion with anybody about anything. I'm just here. You're just Getting, here. Taking in the vitamin D. And you're recording, it looks like. The vitamin D flying into my body. <laughs> You're recording the vitamin D flying into your body. Okay. That's so, are you recording the the drop boxes then? I'm really not able to comment. Okay. But thank you. Um. So, what exactly are you doing out here then? I'm not able to comment. Okay. Has anyone been reacting to you, talking to you? I'm not able to comment. Okay. Is there a reason why not? Like, who told you that you can't comment? I'm not able to comment. Okay. Can't comment. How long have you been out here? Okay. Are these grown folks or are these people being told what to do? I, I remember this whole free thinking uh, approach everyone's taking in this country, free thinkers. But I'm not allowed, Not no comment, I'm not allowed to talk to you. Mm. Somebody sounds like they're completely controlled, sounds like a terror group. On Wednesday, ABC 15 encountered this group outside of the Maricopa County election headquarters who were on the sidewalk watching that ballot box as we saw. Now, according to the website Clean Elections USA uh, that they said they're working with, they're recruiting people across the country to watch ballot drop boxes in an effort to detect fraud. Here's their quote, we're looking for true pages to take a stand and watch the drop boxes. We wanna gather video and live witness evidence of any ballot tampering that takes place in real time. That's what their site is talking about. By the way, this is ratcheting up. This is only the beginning. I wanna start with you guys with the, the mild cases of this. Here's where it gets even worse. They're not just taking pictures here because earlier this week, Steve Bannon hosted a woman by the name of Melody Jennings on his podcast. And he introduced her as the founder of Clean Elections USA. She says this, we're posting pictures up of those mules. People getting the word there that they are showing up, our people are showing up and gathering around boxes and shutting this stuff down. They're coming after mules, you guys. These election box mules that was seen in Dinesh D'Souza's nonsense film. She went on to talk about the photos that they were taking. What these mules don't understand is just because I put a fuzzy still shot up on true social, maybe she meant truth, that doesn't look like anything. We are geo tracking them. We got cameras on the back sides of them. Oh, so you're following and tracking people as well. As I mentioned, she said that on Steve Bannon's podcast. Steve Bannon is, of course, pouring fuel on this fire because he posted this in response to that reporter talking to those folks outside of that. Patriots is what he, I'm sorry, she reposted that he's posting this when he saw it, when she saw the interview. Patriots at work is what he said. Clean Elections USA volunteers ever vigilant in Arizona, quote, watching the box. So, of course, if you think that you're, um, been confronted and finally people are saying, hey, this is nonsense, this is un-American, this is intimidation. As long as you get more orders from the top like Steve Bannon, you might be inspired to continue to do these things. But it doesn't even stop there, Burbank, there's more. Let's watch this, next one.
few of these instances are being reported to uh, to the authorities, so that this type of stuff can stop happening. Here's some details: at least two people in tactical gear now and masks and allegedly armed with weapons were watching over a drop box for ballots, uh, mail-in ballots in Mesa, Arizona, on Friday. That's what the Maricopa County Elections Department said. There's a group of people hanging out near the ballot drop box, filming and photographing my wife and I as we approach the drop box and accusing us of being a mule. Wow, it's like we keep hearing that term. That's what the report said, which was written by a voter in the Phoenix suburbs and obtained by the Washington Post. He says they took photographs of our license plate and of us and then followed us out of the parking lot in one of their cars continuing to film. Also on Friday, two armed individuals dressed in tactical gear were outside of our Mesa drop ballot drop box as well. After Maricopa County Sheriff's Office arrived, the individuals left. And the election department said that also on Twitter. So before there's even more, just uh, I guess this is predictable. You go from saying that the election was stolen in 2020 and Donald Trump has done wrong and fraud and this and that. Now let's watch some drop boxes. Now let's watch drop boxes and start intimidating people. Now let's start watching drop boxes, intimidating people in tactical gear with guns out. Yeah, the intimidation factor is huge here, right? This is modern day Jim Crow. Ballot boxes make it easier for someone who is working all day and can't cast a ballot on election day to participate in the democratic process. And the fact that they are calling these people mules. You can imagine the kind of racial undertones at play here. Maricopa County has a very large Latino population and to use the term mule for people who are just trying to vote is insanity. It's very clear that what these people want is not free and fair elections, whereas many people who have a right to vote can cast their ballot to vote and that right was fought for. Instead, they wanna intimidate them into not voting, that's really clear. The fact that I've seen TikToks of people standing outside of ballot boxes saying, hey, I'm someone who collects the ballots out of the ballot box, just put it in this bag. It saves us time from emptying the ballot box. This is going to happen like crazy this election cycle. So if you're voting with a ballot box, make sure you go to the exact address of the ballot box on your voter registration and make sure you are the one to put the envelope inside of the box because this is crazy. Insane, uh, anytime you wanna know what's going on, just look at what they're saying someone else is doing. So if you're talking about voter fraud, ballot box stealing, mules, all that stuff they're talking, it's them, it's actually them. One more piece about this because last week, uh, many of us talked about Marco Rubio and Val Demings debate. And they were talking about ballot drop boxes there as well. So we've got these folks that have been told, hey, watch the ballot drop boxes. But in case that doesn't work, maybe do what Marco Rubio is suggesting here. There's danger involved in drop boxes. People need to think about it. Okay, imagine if someone decides, oh, there's a drop box. I'm just going to put some explosive in it and blow it up and burn all of those ballots, and now those votes don't count at all. He said, hey, think about it. Hey, think about it. If you don't like it, maybe blow them up. One more thing is Carrie Lake is also running for governor out in Arizona. This is what she tweeted. This is before, this has been built up. This is from the summertime. Ballot drop box on the side of some random road in Coconino County. Potential mules beware, we're watching drop boxes throughout the state. Smile, you might be on camera. Well, now I guess that's all come to fruition. It's all a connected effort. So it's not just this one organization that those two yahoos out in front of the beginning of this whole story we're talking about. It's also elected officials, want to be elected officials, and people that want to have this level of power in a state like this. And they're trying to make sure that happens in it with by any means necessary, Jess. Any final thoughts with these two losers? Yeah, it's pretty clear that these folks and a lot of people in our country right now love coming up with solutions for problems that don't exist and then ignoring the actual problems that voting is not very accessible in our country. No one is blowing up ballot boxes. So the fact that you're trying to protect them with tactical gear, it's really clear that what you wanna do because you vote against making voting more accessible for people so more people can participate, it's clear you're just trying to intimidate people into not exercising that right. Yeah, so they think that these mules are showing up to ballot drop boxes armed. So you need to show up with your guns to make sure you're defending yourself from putting yourself in that position to watch people and then harass them. I think it's pretty obvious what's going on here. Just getting Straight. vitamin D, JR. That's all it is, just getting a little vitamin D.